Hey you guys, welcome back. Um, so today, as you see in the description and in the title, I am going to show you how to do a full face of makeup using one palette. Um, this is something that I always do when like I'm traveling or going somewhere and I don't want to bring all my makeup because one, I'm scared of anything getting ruined, two, I'm scared of losing everything, and then three, if I brought everything I use for like a full face of glam makeup every day, I would have to carry so many bags. So this is just something that I like to just throw in my like carry on or if I go somewhere, I just throw it right in and yeah, with a few brushes and a few little foundations and that's it. So for foundation today, I do have on, um, let's see, I have on Clinique. I don't think this is gonna focus. Yep, right here. So I have this Clinique uh, foundation on. What I like about this is that um, it's really hydrating um, and it's repairing. It's a repairing foundation. So if you have like bad skin or you're prone to acne, this will help a lot. I don't wanna say it's like medicated, but it has more like products and like stuff and ingredients in it that will help your skin and not build up. So I'm acne prone, I have sensitive skin like I've said in my past videos and so I've, I found that this works a lot. I have this, I think I got it at Ulta. Um, and for underneath a primer, um, I have on the Tarte Poreless Primer. I just started using this and I do like it. Again, I haven't been doing my makeup obviously lately because I've been in the house, but um, when I got this, it was right before the quarantine, so I used it a couple of times. Um, I depend like my foundation on depending like the day, meaning like if I have like a lot of wash and blow dries at the salon that day and I'm blowing out like hair and I'm like sweating and everything, if my foundation stays on and doesn't move, that foundation and primer are like amazing. And honestly, these two together are the best combo. So then I also bronze up my face a little bit using a cream uh, bronze stick and that is L'Oreal. I use this L'Oreal one right here. I do like this because it doesn't wipe the foundation off that you just had on. A lot of cream contour sticks and highlighting sticks will move the foundation and this doesn't. It melts into the skin and it blends really easy. Um, for highlight and contour, I do have a video of how to use powder and cream. So if you wanna scroll through my videos, you will see that. Um, just a quick little video on how to do that. And I can do one again in the future. I was thinking for my next video, I'm gonna show you guys my top like five foundations that I do love. There's so many foundations out there, but um, me buying every single one of them and trying all of them out, I know which ones I like uh, and don't like and I wanna show you guys. But for today, so this is on my face. So right now I just have um, primer on, the foundation and then a contouring stick. So in the palette, I'm gonna show you how to do like your eyes. I'm gonna show you how to set that stick, the bronzer stick, how to set it with using a powder bronzer, which I'm gonna show you in the palette. You don't need to put a cream on before. Um, I just wanted to throw some sort of contrast in my face so I didn't look like completely like a sheet of like pale or white <laughs> in the start of the video and scare you guys. Um, you can just throw your foundation on and use the bronzer that's in the palette and then a highlighter, eyes, and all that fun stuff. Um, on my lips, I have a mix between Jeffree Star and Anastasia Beverly Hills. I will show you all my nude lipstick collections probably in a future video, but that's what I have on my face right now. So let's get started. I'm gonna pin my hair back. And also again, I'm waiting for a few more parts for my camera setup to come in the mail. I'm like freaking out to even like pick anything up in the mail, but um, okay, this will do. <laughs> that kind of looks cute. Oh, by the way, I'm repping the salon, sweatshirts. This is a zip up hoodie and we do have um, pullovers and then we have a pullover that where it zips here up. So all my clients, when the quarantine's over, this will be back in the salon and I would love to give you guys some so you guys can rep the salon. Okay, so what I'm gonna start out with is my eyes. Um, this is the palette I like to use, so it really depends on preference with people, but this is what I use. Um, I use the James Charles palette. I have the mini palette and I have the big one here. As you can see, these get a lot of use. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna dive into the mini one. They're both exactly alike. Let me show you. Come on. So these look exactly alike, except this is just smaller. This is more for traveling, so this is what I'd bring. And this is bigger. I bring 
these to like weddings. I have two at the salon. I have two here. So this is just my personal one. So, so this is what I use. It has a little mirror, which I love. Um, so basically, as you can see in this palette, there's so many different colors. There's so many different just highlighters. There's like mattes, there's shimmer, there's some foil colors, but um, I really do like this. So I'm gonna show you how to achieve a look just using this palette. And so that's your eyes, a highlight, and a contour, and a blush actually too, just using this palette. So all you'll ever have to bring with you is some foundation, this, some mascara, and that's it. Even eyeliner, I'm gonna show you how to use eyeliner on here. So, okay, so I'm gonna start off real quick with the eyes. Um, so first I'm gonna dive in to this color right here, right in the middle. Brush some excess off. You gotta be careful because a lot of these are pressed pigments and they're like insane. It's a good thing, but when you don't really do makeup a lot, you just gotta really be careful with blending it. So I'm just gonna put this right into the center, into the crease as a transition shade. And I'm gonna do this, I'm not doing like a full glam glam look. I'm just gonna show you like an everyday quick look. I do, I even use this, pal I use this palette pretty much every day. I have um, this right on at my makeup station in my room. Cause this is my go-to every day. You can't go wrong. There's so many colors, so many looks you can do with it. But this is my every day when I'm getting up, going to the salon, I just want to grab on something. And this is what I use. And this is how I do my eyes. So we have a nice little bronzed look right now. So then with using the same brush, I'm gonna go in, let's see, I'll go in with this brown peachy color right here, and I'm just gonna pack that at the end. And kind of blend it a little bit into that transition shade. I can't wait to get my camera going so more things show up better, but Honestly, the phone in this glam light doesn't, like, it does the job, you know? All right. Like so. Okay. So then I'm going, usually I'll cut a crease, meaning, like, take, like, um, concealer, and you cut the crease and clean this out. But, again, this is, like, that's, like, more for, like, advanced like I'm not gonna like scare you and start showing you oh do this do that this is just something quick using one palette so as you see my eyes are almost done and I like kind of like putting a lighter shade right in the middle of my eye so I think I'm gonna go in with let me look do I want this one first of all let me show you how amazing this let me see if I switch Let me show you how to use that as a highlight. But, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably take probably a little bit of actually this pinky color. And I'm just gonna throw that right into the center of my eye. Kinda like in a circle, but just pat it down. like so. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a smaller brush. There's so many damn brushes. I'll grab this one. I'm going to grab a smaller brush like this. I'm going to go on some more of these setting spray and I'm going to wet the brush a little bit because what I like to do is in between my eyes like right here in the corner I like to throw a little bit of white or a white shimmer in it because that opens up the eyes a lot so I love it's gonna be kind of hard for you to see but I love throwing just a tad bit of white right on here and then right on the brow bone
it really opens up the eyes. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can kind of see it. Well, in person you can, but I don't know about the camera here. So that's just something really quick for eyeshadow. Now, what's really cool now about this palette is you can also fill your eyebrows in. So what I like to do is grab a brush like this that has a spoolie at the end and a angled brush at the other end. And I like to, again, my eyebrows are microbladed, but sometimes I like to just give them some more color if my foundation kind of like got in the way or got on them, but so what I like to do is I like to grab this brown up in the corner here, right on this angled brush, and I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows. They need to be done. I need to do them. I know a lot of people prefer a wax, um, a pomade, something on their eyebrows better than powder. I like powder because it gives it more of a natural look um, and it doesn't lay your eyebrows down. It makes them nice still and fluffy and full looking. So there you go. Boom, fill in eyebrows. Now, eyeliner. I like to do something right here right in the top, like black and a little bit on the corner. I don't like to take, me personally, I don't like to take black or brown or whatever and go from here all the way here. I only like just doing it right in the corners because it makes my eye kind of look a little bit bigger. I don't want them to look smaller. Also too, I have eyelash extensions, so I don't like to put a lot of like creams or um, stuff near my eyelashes because I will like get stuff all in them and they'll fall out. So I like to use eyeshadow. Another thing with eyeshadow too is it doesn't, um, it doesn't cake up and it also doesn't start getting all underneath here and stuff, especially I like to do that with my brides if they cry a little bit on their wedding day, like you don't have to worry about anything running with eyeshadow. So that's like a little trick of mine that I like to do. So I'm gonna take this with the exact same um, angle brush, take some black, this shade right here, and I'm just gonna go right across my eye with it. And then I'm just gonna go, see the difference? I'm just gonna go right here. Look at the difference. Crazy, right? So I'm just gonna do the same right on the other side. Boom, so you get some eyeliner. See that? And it was so quick. So now I'm gonna show you a little bit of highlight and some contour and some blush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, that shade that I put on my eyes earlier, right here, I'm gonna grab a bronzer brush like this, take some off, and bronze up my face. And there's a couple of different like brown shades in here that you can use, it depends on your skin tone. I see that the transition shade I use in my eyes kind of work better with my skin tone. I'm just gonna add some color on my face using this middle one right here. And then with the same brush, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that exact color that I used to pack my eyelid right here, and a little, a dot, a dot of this pink right here. Just a dot. I'm gonna get the apples of my cheeks with it. And then to blend it better, I'm gonna grab a clean, bigger brush like this. And I'm just gonna go like this to blend it into my bronzer a little bit. So 
So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some of the Morphe spray and a brush like this. I'm just gonna wet it a little bit, dry it. And I'm gonna go into this highlighter color, probably a little bit of this right here. And I'm gonna highlight my face. Look at that, boom. My brow bone. The little tip of my nose, my upper lip. I like to put some at my collarbone if I'm wearing like a low cut shirt. See that? Boom. Okay, before I get carried away. And then last, I take that setting spray and I just set my face. So that is how you can achieve a look using one makeup palette. I prefer the James Charles. It really depends if you guys like to have a palette that's maybe, I know Wet n Wild actually just came out with a palette that looks exactly, exactly like this, identical, um, and it's way cheaper. So Wet n Wild just came out with a palette like that if you guys wanna do that. If you guys have the James Charles palette, try it. The big one or the small one, they're both the same. But see how you can just achieve one look actually no sorry multiple looks with one palette this right here amazing so yeah that is my little secret on what i do when i go away or this is kind of like what i wear every day anyway so yeah this is it let me know what you think try it grab a palette replay the video and try it yourself and like comment down below take some pictures of your looks and i want to see it so yeah Thank you for stopping by. I hope you guys are all staying safe during this quarantine. You guys are following the rules and what you're supposed to do. And I can't wait to get back to the salon so I can actually do this on everybody and not just myself. But thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.